Hey guys, look at that, that Ace of Wands, Fire Energy Leo. Hmm. There, there's something, a relationship, new job, there's something that you guys have started. Um, I will say this, being that Mercury is in retrograde right now, um, a lot of times when things are in retrograde, when planets are in retrograde, is really not a good time to really start anything really big. Because a lot of times what happens is when we come, when the planet comes out of the retrograde state, that it speeds things up. It, it allows us to like catch up and then we catch up to the point um, where we are functioning like we would usually do and be like what the fuck did I just do when we make decisions big decisions while planets are in retrograde so I don't know what this is maybe this is just something that you guys um, were doing very lightheartedly and and that's quite possible with Gemini's so we'll see what's going on with that for you. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that uh, I know I've been out and and you know I've been dealing with my own shit for sure, as you guys are on a daily basis. But you know life happens, and so I have just had to take some time to kind of like sort out my stuff, my my head space and my heart space, and clear some things up. Um, so here I am. I, I will definitely try to be more um, on point and keep more of a schedule for you guys. But, you know, again, life happens. So, but I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a valued effort, guys. Okay. So, so let's see what's going on with you guys in the month of March. What's going on with my Geminis for March? The lovers. Oh, are we making a statement right now? Gemini's really? Here you are. This is your card. A lot of you guys have started some shit. <laughs> gotten into new relationships. Um, gotten into new situations. Even if you're not calling it a relationship. Situationships. But um, these are relationships of a sexual nature. So... I just want you to be mindful of the feelings that you're feeling right now. They may switch up a little bit once the planet uh, goes, comes out of retrograde. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see what this is about. Let's crossing my Gemini's. King of Swords. A lot of air energy right here. Hmm. I feel like, I don't know if this is a relationship that you guys started actually before the retrograde or what, but I feel like there's a divide right now. Like, um, you're having a hard time really expressing yourself emotionally. You care for this person. I feel like you may even love this person or feel like you love this person, but um, you're having a hard time connecting with them on an emotional level during this period. And if, if that is the case, you guys, that is because 9 times out of 10, because of this retrograde, it's hard to communicate effectively if you don't just go with the flow. Just realize that this is, a, this is going to be like a challenging time for you and go with it. And try not to make decisions haphazardly. Do not go with your first mind during this retrograde, okay? Because you'll end up breaking up with somebody or they will end up breaking up with you. And then when you come out of this retrograde, it's like, what the fuck did I just do? You know, you kind of come to your senses. <laughs> but yeah, the retrograde, I think, is going to be over um, in about four or five days. Let me let me take a gander at that. Let me take a look at that and see when the retrograde is going to be over with. Let's see. I want to say it's like the fourth in a couple of days, but a lot of times, even when, you know, let's say the retrograde is over with on the fourth, we still would feel like residual effects of it 
maybe for a week, two weeks out of it, make sometimes longer. Um, it looks like the tenth. Looks like it's around the tenth. So we've got we got some more tough times ahead. Um, but just kind of go with the flow and realize that this energy is going to be challenging, and you'll get through it. You know, without any major consequences to suffer. Let's see, what's the underlying issue here for Gemini? The world. Saturn energy here. Huh. There's something about lessons. There's something about allowing someone to lead you. Is what I'm seeing. Giving in to um, something that somebody else is trying to show you. There's somebody trying to show you something here. This energy here is um, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Sc Scorpio energy. Somebody's trying to show you something, okay? And there's a, there's a need to be like open to that and not close yourself off to it. Because there's something new that's trying to start, um, but you first have to take into account your past experiences and, and the things that you've gone through and the people that you've come across and what each of those relationships or situations was trying to teach you, was trying to show you. To take into account those instances because they're really trying to prepare you for your destiny, where you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be with. Okay. What's going on in the recent past for Gemini's? Three of Pentacles. Working with people. Working with people. Was there a situation where you guys may have had someone else or the person that you were involved with in the past had someone else that maybe they worked with or you worked with Capricorn energy this could also be a situation where you guys you know you were you were trying to compromise with someone and it just did not pan out the way that you want it to. But it looks like somebody here was involved in like a workplace um, relationship and they had to make a choice. They had to make a choice between two people or a choice between their job and the person. Crying thoughts for Gemini. Okay, so yeah, the camera froze. Um, but I was pulling the page of wands in your crowning thoughts, and um, to me, it seems that whatever it is that you guys are involved in, it, you're seeing it as very lighthearted, like you're not really trying to take. Uh, the situation too seriously. You're not trying to take them too seriously. And you're really just wanting to have fun with it. But um, there, there is um, there's something going on here. And I don't know if it's the fact that some of you move on really quickly. Or it's that some of you are not taking your relationships seriously or taking the people that you come across seriously. Um, and what I mean by seriously is not like, you know, want to commit to everybody you encounter, but like, you know, taking something out of the relationships because the, the issue, the underlying issue here is the fact that um, there's something that you haven't been paying attention to and for each of you it may be something different 
So if you think back on all the, the connections or relationships that you guys have had, there's something that you could pull out of each one of those connections that can uh, help you moving forward in other connections. And so I think that is what the thing is here. The overall thing is being able to take something away from each of the connections that you've had in order to have a successful um, relationship here. Okay. So whether or not you feel like this is something really serious, this is something really um, that's going to be long term or whatever, uh, pay attention to what's actually going on and, and how you're, you're interacting with them and how they're interacting with you. Okay, because it can help because when you are finally ready to settle down or if you're ready to settle down now, kind of do some reflection on what, you know, the other relationships that you've had and, and how you've gotten along with that person, the people that you've actually selected, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see what's coming in for Gemini's. What's coming in for Gemini's? Queen of Wands, that fire energy. But this person's headed out. And then we have a page of wands here. I feel like Aries energy is very strong here. I do see somebody like walking away. And I see someone else here um, acting like they're not phased by that person walking away. Okay. I, I see somebody in the, not in the shadows, but like... <sighs> watching the other person not stalking the other person but watching this other person walk away when they really don't want them to walk away this this is just what i'm seeing here okay <clears throat> how is gemini okay how is gemini feeling about this situation you're keeping things to yourself you're keeping your feelings to yourself you know what it is that you want to do I just don't see you really acting on it is the thing. Somebody's not acting on it because this situation could definitely be um, a situation that's reversed and this could be the other person not acting on it, not going after what it is that they really want because they're used to functioning a certain way. Okay, whether it's you or, or the other person. I see an energy there. I feel like this is also your energy. This is Gemini energy. Very intuitive. Very in sync with what it is that you want. Not sharing with anybody, but just just having that, that knowing, you know. This is an influence here for Gemini. Queen of Swords. I feel like you guys have been hurt and I feel like the person that you are dealing with I feel like this person is very um, they're good with their words they're attractive and they're very alluring and I think for a lot of you you don't want this person to really get the big head or feel like they they or feel like you should be appreciative to have them because you feel like they should be appreciative to have you. You know, regardless of how attractive they are or how smart they are or or how, you know, alluring they are. Because you feel like you're alluring too, you know. So it's like you're playing it cool. You don't want to be hurt. Definitely don't want to be hurt. Then we have this Taurus energy here. I feel like you really care for this person. But you're slow to really like open up. You're slow to open up. This person's very slow to open up too. It's almost like both of you guys are Geminis. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with has a lot of fire in their chart as well. A lot of fire and air, honestly. Because they, they're they really, they're like your match, actually. Hmm.
They're leery in their approach. And I feel like they have a lot of masculine energy. But I also feel like you guys have a lot of masculine energy. Very in control of your emotions. Very in control of yourself. Very strong person you are. But I feel like this person is just as strong. And I feel like... Um, I think you're in a in a pickle here because you I, you definitely want this person. I feel like this person wants you too. I don't know what you guys are doing, <laughs> but you're butting heads. So I definitely feel like Taurus, Aries type of individual, but also has air in their chart. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. Hopes or fears for Gemini. Six of Wands. Of course you want to be recognized and be successful and, and you guys can move on and live in harmony and, and both of you are showing the same sort of, of attractions and exhibiting the same actions towards each other. This is what you want. You know they're attractive. You know their worth. But do they know yours is the thing. And I think that's why you're kind of approaching it like... Mm, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put too much stock into them. I'm not gonna <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not going to put my whole heart into this, but I feel like your heart's already here. There's this too. Overall outcome for Gemini. Overall outcome for Gemini. Four of Cups. Why are we doing that? Four of Cups is like come to me. Because I'm not coming to you. And if you don't come to me, then we'll just be right here. You give me something, I'll give you something. You know, that whole tit for tat thing. You guys are a lot alike. But I feel like in order for this to be successful, somebody's going to have to do something different here. But I, And I feel like um, this person may have to do something different too now. Don't get me wrong, but this is your reading. So I'm talking to you guys. With the world here and the underlying issue... There is something that you need to take heed of. Okay? So keep that in mind, guys. That's cancer energy there, if I didn't already say. Okay? So let me pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. Close out your reading. Please give me a message for my Geminis. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance positively okay don't think negatively don't think oh they're not doing this to me they're not showing me this so I'm not gonna do it to them do what you do do what you do okay because you want to do it not in reaction to them all right guys so that is what I have for you and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye